guys, my name is Anna Swanson. This is Tucker. This is our lesson for homework. And today we are going to be going over our structural evaluation worksheet. All right, so we're going to start with the top line. Look at his neck, withers, back, loin, and croup. Um, and so I'm going to show where his withers are. His Shoulder blade is right here. So withers are right here. And then we're gonna look at his body length compared to his back length. So his wither section is right here. And then his body length, got a tape measure here. Body length here, and then back length, and then back length is from here to here. Back length here, body length. Next is describing the slope of back. If it's normal, roached, soft, and I would say his back looks pretty straight. If anything, it's a little roached back here, but I think for the most part, it looks pretty normal and straight. Next, we're going to look at the length of loin. Um, so his last rib end right here, meaning that his loin is from here to here, which is slightly shorter than his rib cage. Rib from here to here, loin from here to here. So I would say his loin length is moderate because it's slightly shorter than his rib cage. Um, we're going to look at his croup, which is kind of hard to tell. He's kind of fluffy. His pelvis is right here. So I would say it looks like a pretty well-rounded croup. And then um, tail carriage, obviously his tail has been cropped, but when standing right here, he holds it down. And then when we do his gait evaluation, we'll see if he holds it up or down. But just standing here, his tail carriage is down. We're going to look at his coupling. So like we said, his loin is from here to here. And his shoulder blade is pretty well laid back, I would say. Right here. Um... Here to here, right here. So I would say that he is fairly flexible. He has a fairly good size loin, well laid back shoulder. Um, I would say it's a pretty flexible coupling. Number three, we're gonna look at the front assembly. Bless you. So like we said, his shoulder blade is here, shoulder blade is right here, um, which I would say is well laid back. And then um, the scalpula versus length of upper arm. So I'm going to measure scalpula from here to here. Here to here, which is about seven inches. And then upper arm 
is from here to here, which is only five inches. So his upper arm is noticeably shorter than his scalpula. Um, so he has a um, short front angulation. And then look at his pasterns. I would say they are slightly sloped, not too excessive, but um, they're not straight. And then, as far as his hind assembly, um, we would draw a line. I'm gonna try using my tape measure here. We would draw a line from his butt down. Not standing square. Rocks down, and then it's here. So I guess I would say it's straight. The rest of it is not stacked. Say so from here down. It's hard to feel in all the here down. So I would say that is straight. I would say it's pretty straight to moderately angled. And then length of femur to second thigh here. So point of buttock to point of buttock to his stifle or knee is like seven inches and then from here to here is only five inches so again noticeably shorter and then point a buttock down really can't it's right here I would say it's straight, straight tying in. Okay, so here is our gait assessment. Starting with the walk, seems nice and normal. Stride length is normal. At the walk, he still holds his tail down. And then this is the only video I got of him going from the walk to trot when I bend the corner. That's when I ask for the trot, but no hopping seems normal. Once we get to the trot or anything faster, then he does hold his tail up. His trot is not completely synchronized. His feet don't land at the same time. And then trot to canter right at the beginning of this video here. asked him to stand not completely square but he is using his front and hind he's balanced his hops are fairly straight and then this is the front angle I would say it's normal Here's a view of his stance from the back. Again, I would say normal, good, not barrel legged or cow hocked or anything like that. So that was our assessment.